February the, February the 22nd, 2024. Guys, you're looking at a record breaker for this solar cycle. This morning we had an X.19 solar flare, an X.17, and we just had a 6.3, and that's what it looks like. To me, it looks like there was a double flare there. You're almost seeing two X's if you look very closely here, here, and here. And you're seeing two of these X flare signatures. This one's very strong to the right. But uh, again, we don't know if there's a coronal mass ejection. They have not updated the models from this morning to show if there's any from the, again, the two flares in the video earlier. But I want to play this through. First, you're going to see the 1.9. That was again just before midnight on the 21st UTC time. Then shortly after that, of course, this thing's moving fast. You'll see the X.17. There's the nine. Here comes the seven, and watch this six. Bam, man, that's hard. That's more earth facing than the other ones that we saw. As this thing turns to the right, from the left to right in the images. The Earth is pretty much centered with the sun because of the view of this satellite. It's just slightly lower than the ecliptic or the center line here. Very powerful X6. Again, record breaker for this solar cycle. Now let's take a different look at it. Same satellite with the Earth facing view, but this is a different camera. There's 12 cameras. Each have different filters. Just take a look at it as it goes through from the 21st until current. Uh, images and this is where our solar flares are coming from here first you'll see the 1.9 again the 1.7 then the 6 but notice the filament release right there guys that's very powerful it is followed up by second day flare uh, flare called a hydro flare and that's when it collapses back to the surface and here's your flare systems here everything's starting to turn earth facing guys in the video this morning a lot of people commented and a lot of uh, different YouTube channels are saying that the telephone outage was a cyber attack. I'm not saying it wasn't. I don't have evidence of that right now. All I do have is the evidence that we're seeing coming from the sun. Now, also, I want to take a look at the current blackout uh, map as far as the, um, uh, the storm from the radiation. And here, our X-ray flux chart shows that, guys. Here's your X1.9, the 7, and then the 6.3, much stronger. Notice this is getting close to the top of the X class. I wonder how far that will go. The strongest I've ever seen was an X.10. That was in the last solar cycle, probably seven or eight years ago. Then we had an X5 this solar cycle, but now this one's topping it at the 6.3 level. And here is what they call the D region absorption prediction or the D wrap. Notice the US, we're dealing with sunset. So when this thing struck, it was affecting the Pacific Ocean here. You've got Australia involved, New Zealand, uh, parts of uh, Southeast Asia right there. So again, we were not involved as far as the impact of that flare. We will have to wait and see on the models what happens if. Uh, if a CME is involved with it, they're not showing anything yet. Sometimes it takes time to do it. But again, I don't know if the flares caused the blackouts with the cell phone coverage. It was not just A&T. There was four or five different carriers. And um, I don't know if it was that or cyber attack. Either way, it's important to keep an eye on the events that we're seeing now. We're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.